Hi, I'm Beck, and I'm here with Alan and my Xiaomi M365 scooter. And today we're going to install a, a tire sealant in the tires, which will prevent punctures. We don't have any punctures, but we want to prevent them. So we're filling them with this thing called slime. Um, so this is actually one of two Xiaomi scooters that we have in the house. The other one is Alan's, which means that we've uh, done all of this before, which means we know all of the super tricky things that come up and semi sort of know what we're doing, which is why we decided to film it. Uh, so it's not actually as straightforward as you would think, or uh, you would get the impression of reading the instructions. Um, so we've come across a few things that trip people up and we've done a lot of research and Googling ourselves. So the first thing uh, that I've seen people do uh, and do differently and possibly get wrong is which version of the slime you're using. So this is a very common recommendation on the forums uh, to use the slime to fill your tires with slime. Uh, the other option is people get uh, the solid tires or the honeycomb tires. Um, but if you go for the slime, one thing that people don't um, discuss enough or touch on is which version of the slime. So I've seen people use the blue version of the slime or the yellow version of the slime. Um, and so I wanted to know which one was the right one. And so I can tell you definitively, you need to get the red one. Uh, so I'll, I'll link the table that I got from the slime website itself. But basically, uh, this is the one for pneumatic tires. So pneumatic tires are the ones with the little air tube inside. Um, I guess part of the complication with this is that your replacement tires um, sometimes come with the plastic bit in them and so it's not super clear that uh, the Xiaomi tires are actually pneumatic tires um, but they are definitely pneumatic tires and you need this one. The blue slime is uh, it's a tire uh, it's a tire sealant so it's for off-road vehicles and the focus there is on sealing the inside of the tires. So that's quite useful if you, you know, uh, you wanna make sure your tires themselves are uh, waterproof, um, but this is for filling the inside of your pneumatic tires. So definitely get the red one. Um, so once you've got the red one, uh, you need to pull off the little plastic tube and take the little uh, protective thing out of the inside of the cap and install the plastic tube. And this is where it starts to get a bit tricky, is actually working out how to get into your tyres and insert the green, extremely green stuff into the tyres. So that part's all very straightforward. Uh, but the, the thing you need next is this, which is the cap off your slime, but the inside part of it is a little tool that will help you get the inner, I guess, valve thing out of this part. So inside this valve, there is actually a little, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a valve um, that stops all the air getting out when you take this off, but it actually prevents the slime from getting in. Um, so you use this to pull that little valve out. Um, you just use it to unscrew it, and then that means you can get the slime in. So this is the thing that you're pulling out um, and we'll put that somewhere safe so that we don't lose it or it doesn't blow away. Um, now you can just whack this in. Okay. So uh, you can see sort of measurements on the side of the tube. We've already filled up two tires with this so we're down to about eight ounces but you sort of want to roughly fill each tire with three to four ounces. So we'll try to go down to roughly there for this one. Because all the tire, the air has gone out, you might need to put a finger back here. Oh. Possibly good idea to have two sets of hands. Okay. 
need to get a finger underneath the tie guard to help push that down enough. Okay, that should go in. It's gravity, there we go. As you can see, uh, the front wheel is going to be a little bit fiddlier because the valve is ensconced in the motor or the wheel cover. So you can't actually use this cap to get the valve out. And I've seen people cut this cap down, um, but I found that a pair of needle nose pliers works pretty well. You've just got to get a solid grip on it, the little inner thing, and start turning. Okay, so it's the next day and we're back for the second part of the video because what happened is we took the uh, scooters to the service station to try to inflate the tires and they wouldn't inflate because we'd broken something. So we had to go to the store to get uh, some parts and we've got those and now we're back. And um, so the part that we needed to get was uh, new ones of these. Uh, remember when I said that we could use needle nose pliers to pull these out? I was very, very wrong. Um, because what happens is these little things are uh, spring loaded. Um, and so if you get uh, glue from your pliers on them or you pull a little bit too hard um, and it doesn't click back into place smoothly, uh, What's going to happen is when you try to inflate your tires, when you unscrew the inflating tube thing, all the air's just gonna run out. So we worked that out. Um, and we worked out that you can buy these from the store. So we went and got this little pack. And the great news is that the pack also has this thing. So this is uh, a purpose-built, a uh, shroud of valve core removal slash insertion screwy tool thing. And it's the perfect size to be able to handle the front wheels of the Xiaomi scooters. So highly recommend getting yourself one of these. So much easier than cutting the, uh, the slime one or breaking your valves with needle nose pliers. Um, and this kit's quite good. It's got quite a few of these spare ones and some little caps and a few different things in there. So um, let's get started on this. So we've already pulled the old one out. So we'll just make sure we get a freshie. And we fix them. Um, thank goodness because I thought we broke our scooters but we fixed it and the other thing to note is we filled these up at different PSI ratings um, so the, the, the PSI that you need in each tire is based on the weight that the scooter is going to carry because these are for two different weight people um, we fill them up slightly differently um, so there's a table provided by Xiaomi um, that has the PSI ratings that they've been tested for. So I'll link that. Um, and yeah, good to go.